Yeremiah, Jeremiah 15. Then said Yahuwah unto me, Though Moshe and Shemuel stood before me, yet my mind could not be toward this people. Cast them out of my sight, and let them go forth. And it shall come to pass, if they say unto you, Whither shall we go forth? Then you shall tell them, Thus says Yahuwah, Such as are for death, to death, and such as are for the sword, to the sword, and such as are for the famine, to the famine, and such as are for the captivity, to the captivity. And I will appoint over them four kinds, says Yahuwah, eth the sword to slay, and eth the dogs to tear, and eth the fowls of the heavens, and the eth beasts of the earth, to devour and destroy. And I will cause them to be removed into all kingdoms of the earth because of Manahashe, the son of Yahiz Kiyahu, king of Yahuda, for that which he did in Yerushalayim. For who shall have pity upon you, O Yerushalayim? Or who shall bemoan you? Or who shall go aside to ask, how you do. You have forsaken me, says Yahuwah. You are gone backward. Therefore will I stretch out eth my hand against you and destroy you. I am weary with repenting, and I will fan them with a fan in the gates of the land. I will bereave them of children. I will destroy eth my people, since they return not from their ways. Their widows are increased to me above the sand of the seas. I have brought upon them against the mother of the young men a spoiler at noonday. I have caused him to fall upon it suddenly, and terrors upon the city. She that has borne seven languishes, she has given up her ruach. Her son is gone down while it was yet day. She has been ashamed and confounded. And the remnant of them will I deliver to the sword before their enemies, says Yahuwah. Woe is me, my mother, that you have borne me a man of strife and a man of contention to the whole earth. I have neither lent on usury nor men have lent to me on usury, yet every one of them curses me. Yahuwah said, Truly it shall be well with your remnant. Truly I will cause eth the enemy to entreat you well in the time of evil and in the time of affliction. Shall iron break the northern iron and the steel? Your substance and your treasures will I give to the spoil without price, and that for all your sins, even in all your borders. And... I will make you to passeth with your enemies into a land which you know not. For a fire is kindled in my anger, which shall burn upon you. O Yahuwah, you know. Remember me and visit me and revenge me of my persecutors. Take me not away in your long suffering. Know that for your sake I have suffered rebuke. Your words were found, and I did eat them, and your word was unto me the joy and rejoicing of my heart. For I am called by your name, O Yahuwah, Elohai, Sevaoth. I sat not in the assembly of the mockers, nor rejoiced. I sat alone because of your hand, for you have filled me with indignation. Why is my pain perpetual and my wound incurable, which refuses to be healed? Will you be altogether unto me as a liar and as waters that fail? Therefore, thus says Yahuwah, if you return, then will I bring you again, and you shall stand before me. And if you take forth the precious from the vial, you shall be as my mouth. Let them return unto you, but return not you unto them. And I will make you unto this people 
a fenced brazen wall, and they shall fight against you, but they shall not prevail against you, for I am with you to save you and to deliver you, says Yahuwah, and I will deliver you out of the hand of the wicked, and I will redeem you out of the hand of the terrible.